Hello, my wonderful and amiable listeners. Welcome to today's news. The presidency replies Alaja to Kapabaka. The presidential candidate of the People's Democratic Party says no way he could win election after breaking up with Peter Gregory Obi, five rebel ex governors, and Rabbi Musako Kanso. Earlier at a press conference, Alaja to Kapabaka had said he filed a lawsuit against President Ashwajubala Metunumbu on his academic redemption because of the future of Nigeria. The Bola Tunumbu presidency has offered reasons why the presidential candidate of the People's Democratic Party, PDP, Atiku Abubakar, lost the February lost the February presidential election, adding that Atiku Abubakar, at 77 years, should accept his defeat as a sportsman. In the release by Bayona Nuga, the special advisor to the president on information strategy, the presidency said Atiku Abubakar lost because he went into a major election with a fragmented and tattered umbrella that could not hold together. Earlier at the, at the conference, Atiku had said that he filed a lawsuit against President Bola Tunumbu on his academic credentials because of the future of Nigeria. Atiku Abubakar had also explained that the, by the judgment of the Supreme Court on the 26th of October 2023, the APS Court had legalized forgery and illegality. Give him more reason while he filed lawsuit against Tunubu on his academic credential. It's, he had said, It is not about me, it is about our country, the Federal Republic of Nigeria, and the future. It is the kind of it is about the kind of society we want to live for the next generation and what kind of example we want to set for our children. It is about the reputation of Nigeria and Nigerians in the eyes of the world. But in, in its response, the presidency said Atiku Abubakar finally found his voice after more than 96 hours to respond to a strong scene at the Supreme Court in a landmark judgment on his grossly incompetent election petition appeal. Anunga said we were wrong to expect that Atiku at 77 would play the statesman and sportsman and accept with equanimity the verdict of the highest court and the people of the Federal Republic of Nigeria. Instead, he unashamedly constituted himself into a demagogue and anarchist in the way and, mat- and, and manner he sought to pull down and delegitimize all the institutions of the state, all in the future bid to achieve what he could not get via the ballot box. We want Alaja to Kapubaka. We want to tell Alaja to Paka this Nigeria is not doomed. It's only Atikapubaka's inordinate ambition to be the president that is doomed. The Federal Republic of Nigeria is moving forward and set to achieve its manifest destiny as one of the most respected and successful nations of the world under the leadership of President Ashura Jubala Ahmed Tunumbu. Contrary to Atiku's gloomy submission on our democracy, we are excited to tell the world that our democracy is thriving and blossoming. It is the reason for the first time since 1999 the character of our National Assembly and its outlook reflects the diversity and plurality of choices and preference of vote as a rainbow coalition of different parties as opposed to the to the practice in the past where just two parties dominated the national parliament. Asuka Babaka lost because he went into a major election with a fragmented and tattered umbrella that could not hold together. Atiku Abubaka, who is a Nigerian politician and businessman who served as the Vice President of the Federal Republic of Nigeria from 1999 to 2007 during the presidency of Olusha Gwamba Sonjo. He ran as, an, as a governor of Adamawa State in 1990, 1996 and in 1998 when he was finally elected before he became Olusha Gwamba Sonjo's only mate during the 1999 presidential election and was re-elected in 2003. Asiko Abubakar, who has run unsuccessfully for the President of the Federal Republic of Nigeria six times in 1993, 2007, 2011, 2015, 2019, and 2023. He ran in the Social Democratic Party SDP presidential primaries in 1993, but lost to Moshud Ashbiola and Baba Ghana King Gibi. He was the presidential candidate of the Action Congress in the 2007 presidential election, coming in tour to Omar Musayaradwa of the People's Democratic Party and Muhammadu Buhari of the ENPP. 
He contested the presidential primaries of the People's Democratic Party during the 2011 presidential election, losing out to the incumbent president, Good Luck Billy Jonathan. In 2014, he joined the All Progressive Congress APC ahead of the 2015 presidential election and contested the presidential primaries, losing to Muhammad Buhari. In 2007, he returned to the People's Democratic Party PDP and was the party presidential candidate during the 2019 presidential election, again losing to the incumbent president, Muhammad Buhari. Alaji Atuka Babaka, who first foray into, polit into politics, was in the early 1980s when he worked behind the scene on the gov governorship campaign of Bamanga, Bamanga Toko, who at the time was managing director of the Nigerian Port Authority. He canvassed for votes in, on behalf of Toko and also donates to the campaign. In 1989, Abubakar was elected the National Vice Chairman of the People Front of Nigeria in the build-up of the Third Republic. On the 1st of September 1990, Alanji Atuka announced his Gongola State gubernatorial bid a year later before the election could hold. Gongola State was broken up into two, Adamawa and Taraba State, by the federal government. Abubakar fell into the new Adamawa State. After the contest, he won the SDP primaries in November 1991 and was soon disqualified by the government from contesting the elections. On the 2nd of February 2014, Abubakar left the People Democratic Party and became a founding member of the All Progressive Congress with the ambition of contesting for the presidency ahead of the 2015 presidential election. The results of the APC presidential primary results held in Lagos State was Muhammad Buhari with 3,430 votes, Rabbi Musa Konkwansu with 974 votes, Al Haji Atuko Abubakar with 954 votes, Ucha Zukurucha with 400 votes. In 2018, Abubakar began his presidential campaign and secured the party nomination of the People's Democratic Party in the presidential primaries held in Port Harcourt. Atuk Abubakar took his campaign to Castina, visiting the Emir of Dora and se on the 7th of February 2019. On the 27th of February 2019, Atuk Abubakar lost the presidential election to Muhammad Buhari. Atuk Abubakar also emerged as the presidential candidate of the People's Democratic Party for the 2023 election after he defeated 12 other candidates in keenly contested presidential primary held in Moshud Abiola Stadium. Abubakar lost to Ashwa Jubala Ahmed Tunubu, who won the election. That will be all for now. Please don't forget to click on the like and subscribe button. Let us know your thoughts and your opinion via the comment section below. And I'll see you on the next news. Bye for now.